Today, I will test two types of 3D printing filament, one from Sunlu and one from Isan. First, let's take a look at the PLA Plus from Sunlu. The packaging box opens vertically, which I prefer. I usually use this box to store unassembled parts. The Sunlu box comes with a product introduction, and the spool is still made of Sunlu's own plastic spool. There are perforations on the side to reduce the weight of the spool and make it easier to see the spool's wiring. Let's take a look at the air leakage problem. The packaging has slight air leakage. Let me tear it open. It's very strong with high toughness. The filament may have been damaged during transportation. The wiring is very neat and tidy. And such neatly arranged wiring will not get stuck during the printing process. There is also a quality certificate label on it. Bending test. Bending 180 degrees forward and backward and then rotating 10 times, it didn't break. After pulling and stretching, it is quite strong and cannot be broken easily. It becomes very thin in the middle but still does not break. It performs very well. Nice. The second one is the PLA Plus from Isan. You must have heard of it. The hard shell packaging is good. Such packaging generally does not suffer much damage during transportation. First, let's take out the spool and check for air leakage. We can see that the bag has some air leakage, but not completely leak out. The packaging bag is relatively hard, and it may have some small holes after being hit during transportation. The spool still uses the plastic spool commonly used by Isan. Its printing parameters are 205 to 225 degrees. Bending test, bending 180 degrees forward and backward, and then rotating 10 times without breaking. It became very thin in the middle and broke when pulled and stretched. In the bending and stretching tests, the Isan filament became very thin but the degree of force it can withstand is relatively strong. Overall, it still passed the test. Which brand of filament do you think is better? Tell me in the comments.